Hello, today I will be explaining how sway bars work, what they are and how you can build them in scrap mechanic. We will only be talking about sway bars for double wishbone suspension. Here you can see what a sway bar does. You might not necessarily think that it's a good thing to have a sway bar because it's, it makes your suspension less independent and makes it so that when the right side goes up, the left one goes up with it. What is that useful for? Well, it's useful mostly for road cars, but on off-road cars too. Because when the outside suspension compresses, it is connected to the inside suspension too. And that makes it not roll. So, this is how the sway bar would look like in real life. The red part is the sway bar itself. And in real life it has the ability to twist. It doesn't have that ability in scrap mechanic. That means that this way, if you were to make a sway bar this way, it would be really stiff. And that is not good. Because when your car goes, goes over bumps or something like that, a uh, really stiff anti-roll bar makes it really unstable unless uh, both wheels hit the same bump at the same speed at, at the same time, which is not what happens usually. So basically to make a sway bar that is somewhat good in scrap mechanic, that is not way too stiff you gotta use some of the ways I will show you so one of the solutions is placing a bearing here and connecting a controller to it it's not as stiff anymore but it's it still is really stiff so it's not the preferred solution here uh, you can also make it less stiff by uh, by making this part longer this one so the longer it is the more leverage there will be on this bearing and uh, the the softer it will be but it but controllers still have a lot of power and aren't the best way to to deal with this another thing you can do is that you can use the mod pack and use the engine controller from from the mod pack for this and uh, adjust the stiffness however you want that that works great also here you can now see how how the entire roll works you can see that the controller makes it really stiff and if we remove the controller it basically becomes completely independent So, if one bearing is not enough, you can add second one and then connect them to a driver's seat. This basically is not as stiff as the controller solution, but it has it basically is the same thing. You just have to use two bearings so that you can eliminate this from happening while steering if you reverse one of the bearings. Now, if I steer, nothing happens, but the suspension still has entire roll. But it's not as stiff as it is with the control. The third way is my preferred way, and that is using these springs instead of any bearings right here. What this does is that it allows you uh, the biggest adjustments. Basically, you can uh, adjust things much more than you can with the bearing methods right here unless you want to use the mod pack with with the uh, controller engine so yeah I believe this way is the best so now 
Only drawback I see to using this method is that you need more space to fit these springs and that is like the only bad thing about it but you can just so easily adjust it that I believe it's worth it. You can just bump it up and it makes the entire roll stiffer or softer. Depends on whatever you need. You can do it with this. Now I will show you how to build the sway bar on from from the scratch. So if you don't know how to build this, you should check out my video on double wishbone suspension. It also goes over how to remove suspension glitch, which is very important. Without removing suspension glitch, this thing is basically just a waste of time, and you should focus on. Uh, learning how to remove suspension glitch first. Now with that out of the way let's begin with the build. So uh, we will just put the pipes here and oh shit uh, and hold it. Now put some bearings here or all the bearings I'm putting here are necessary for this to work proper properly because basically as you know uh, the suspension travels this way this wheel travels this way when it gets compressed and we need to account that so from that reason we need this bearing and this bearing we need from from because when this thing goes like psh, 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 it needs to be able to rotate in this point in this point and in this point so now we put it like this and we have to put here yet another bearing like this to be sure that you are putting there all bearings I'm putting there because without it it will not be as it will not work as smoothly at least I think so it is entirely possible that I'm having an unnecessary bearing here but I don't think that is the case at all but, you know, everyone is doing mistakes sometimes, that's just the way it is. Also, another important thing is that uh, you should be putting only one bearing here and uh, you don't have to put another bearing here. And that is because uh, more bearings are just creating unnecessary lag which you already know by this point if you checked out my tutorial on the wishbone and if you did not check it out because it's more important than this is now if you have this we have an entire roll bar if we now try it out You can see that it works. If we make it soft, it's like it wasn't even there. But if you make it stiffer, it works. So, also, I need an engine. So. 
also making your entire roll bar stiffer makes it easier to drift if that's what you are looking for that applies for the rear wheels not for the front wheels yeah so as you can see I will make it a bit slower so that you can see better um, well, that's maybe way too slow but there is no and uh, there is no roll basically even though the suspension is pretty soft uh, maybe I will use follow cam for that yeah the roll is minimal there is not any roll at all if I now make these things softer well the roll is still pretty minimal but it starts to roll The roll is minimal too, but yeah, not the best example, but I have shown you how to build it exactly, so I hope it was helpful. And yeah, that is going every that is going to be everything for this video. So if you enjoyed it, please like it and subscribe and join the Discord server. And yeah, thank you very much for your support and see you next time.